Hi guys, it's Ashley, and I thought today we could do an experiment. And our experiment is about the water cycle. So we just read The Many Adventures of Drippy the Raindrop. And in this story, Drippy went through all the stages of the water cycle. So I still have my poster next to me with my little Drippy on it, and we can look at it real quick. So the water cycle starts when the sun heats up the water and turns it into a vapor. And that's what makes it evaporate up. So after evaporation, the vapors come together to make a cloud in condensation. Then once the cloud is so full of water that it has to let some go, that's precipitation. When it rains or snows or sleets or hails, and then, after all the water gets dropped from the sky, it all joins together during collection. And what's cool about the water cycle is it never stops. It is always going. If one thing is happening, that means next there will be something else. It never totally stops. So, now that we've gone over that, let's get to our experiment. So, in front of me, I have some supplies. I've got a jar, a strainer or a net, some cotton balls, a cup of water that I dyed blue with food coloring, and then I have both a spoon and a turkey baster. Usually I use droppers, but I don't have any at my house, so I found a turkey baster to use instead. So what we're gonna do is pretend this jar is our planet. This jar is Earth. Or you could even pretend that this jar is this poster. So at the bottom of the jar is the ground, is where the water is on our planet. The top of the jar is the sky, is where the clouds form. So what we're gonna do is put our strainer on top of this jar, if it will stay. So my strainer is on my jar this strainer is gonna be where the clouds form in the sky. So, to be my clouds, I have some cotton balls. So I'm gonna start by putting three cotton balls in my strainer and leave the rest somewhere else for now. So, now I've got some clouds and I've got the ground. And with my blue dyed water, I'm gonna use either a dropper or you could use a spoon if you don't have anything like this at home. So what you're gonna do is fill your dropper with some water. And so, when the clouds are formed during condensation, at first they're light and fluffy white clouds like this. But as all the water vapors join the clouds, they become full of water. And these cotton balls, you'll see, will only hold so much water before some starts to drop down. So my cotton balls are starting to turn blue. So I know they're absorbing the water I'm putting in. So I'm gonna keep adding water until I see some precipitation form in my jar. Now precipitation is anything that comes down from the sky. So I'm looking for raindrops in my jar. So I'm gonna keep adding my water on. Oh, I saw a raindrop, did you guys? It rained so much already in my jar. I'm gonna do some with my spoon now, just to show you that it still works. So I'm gonna take a scoop of my water, pour it on my cotton, and did you guys see another drop came down? My clouds are getting so full of water that some comes down to earth as rain. So I could do this for as long as I want with these three cotton balls, and I'm making a storm in my jar. Keep going, keep going, it's raining. I'm gonna use my dropper again. And let's see how this storm's gonna go. Oh my gosh, there's so much rain coming down. And so one more thing I wanna point out with this experiment is the water cycle is what happens to the water on the earth because there is no such thing as new water. It is all the same water going through the cycle over and over and over again. 
Every time it rains, every time it snows, it's the same water. But so my cup is empty now. But what's really cool about the water cycle is it's a cycle. So to restart my activity, all I have to do is pour my water back into this cup and then I could put my clouds back on top of my jar and start all over again with the same water because the water cycle is always the same water. So now I could keep going even more to make my storm. That was so fun. So if you guys do this at home, feel free to send me a picture or a video. I would love to see how you set this up and I will see you guys next time. Have fun experimenting and enjoy learning about the water cycle. Bye everyone.